Yeah, man. Yeah, man. Welcome. Welcome. Another edition of um, Insta Chat with the Journalist. Um, you know, uh, this past week I was out at an event. I was out at the Castle Light event and um, I bumped into some people that I know. And uh, a lot of them are making fun of my interview style, you know. So I just want to address them and say, Skara, bro. Skara, leave my interviewing skills alone. I'm not, I'm not a presenter, man. You know, I'm a journalist. You know, um, I just decided to obviously document my, uh, my, my, my interviews. I'm not a presenter, so Skara, lay off me. Anyway, welcome to Insta Check with the Journalist. And today I've got uh, Tozy Music. What's, what's up, brother? Are you good? I'm good, man. How are you? I'm all right, man. I'm all right. I was just addressing, you know, some of my friends who criticize my uh you know my presenting skills and i'm like i'm not a presenter man i'm a journalist i just do these interviews on instagram <laughs> Yo, but anyway, I, I, that's the journalist because you're the journalist dj i also a dj yeah yeah yeah. so i'm a journalist uh you know that's like my my number one you know full-time job and uh i'm also a dj you know so I, i'm just combining the two so on this platform we document you know house music so, you know, that's why we're here today. And that's why I'm talking to you today. Hey, that's dope. That's dope, man. I know. Thank you. But, man, what you're doing is dope with social media, you know. That's <laughs> hey, thank you, bro. Thank you. <laughs> yeah, man. Um, so, um, let me just add uh, uh, PD jokes. Are we? Um, uh, let me see if I can find him here. Yo, Instagram, they changed their, uh, their stuff. So, it looks a bit weird. Now, um, no, 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 I'm saying like the they changed their interface, so oh. yeah, normally how you add people looks different, but I just I just invited him now, so right. hopefully he'll he'll accept the Yo, invite soon. What up? Uh, let me just respond to the people that are in my comments. Are we? Are we? <laughs> yeah, yeah, so you know, be before PD Jokes joins in, uh, for those that are joining in and they're wondering what's going on. This is an interview, um, you know, that we that I'm hosting with the guys, you know, Tozy Music and PD Jokes. And we're going to be basically talking about uh, a new song that they have in collaboration with TikTok South Africa, as well as Def Jam Africa, you know, two big brands, two big brands, you know, working with uh, South African creatives. So, yeah, man, you know, this is what the chat is about. So, yeah, thank you so much for joining in. I'm just waiting for PD Jokes to join in as well. Let me just see if he's here yet. Uh, did you did you chat with him before? Like uh, a couple of minutes I, before the interview. I sent him, you know, I sent him a text the same time I sent you a text. So, I, so you know, um, he hadn't, he didn't respond yet. So you know, I'm just looking at the time. It's four minutes past already. You know what, bro? Um, uh huh. I think we can just, you know, continue the conversation and then when he joins in, you know, we'll just do the thing. Does that make sense? It does, but can I can I give him a call? Just to, Oh yeah, to okay. Okay, all right. Please do that. Please do that. All right, cool. All right, cool. Uh ladies and gents, ladies and gents, uh thank you so much for joining in. Um I'm having an interview with Tozy Music and PD Jokes. So basically what's happening right now is that uh, Tozy Music is just going to give PD Jokes uh, a call quickly so that he can also be part of this interview. So I'll be talking to them about their new song that they have in collaboration with TikTok South Africa as well as Def Jam Africa. So this is a big deal for, you know, for the South African music industry because it's not often that we see, uh, you know, big companies, you know, taking like you know artists that are relatively known on social media and you know actually uh, collaborating with them and you know commissioning them with work so tonight basically we're just going to be talking about that and the guys will basically tell us about how the collaboration came about and and all that jazz so yeah man you know i'm, I'm looking forward to this chat i think it's an important uh, chat i think it's an important conversation and i know it's going to inspire a lot of, uh, you know, young creatives out there who might be looking for, you know, a deal and who might be looking for, 
uh, tips on how to make it, you know, in the industry and how to get their name out there. So this is one of those conversations where Yo. we'll be just catching up. Yo, welcome back. Welcome back. Yeah, he, he's coming through. He was, uh, he just got home, so. Oh, oh, okay. Dope. Yeah. Okay, cool. I see him. I see him there. Let me just yeah. add him. Yeah, no, no. I was just, uh, I was just explaining to people, you know, what's going on today. Uh, and I was saying this is going to be a very important conversation, especially for those guys that are looking at you guys and thinking, yo, we want to be like these guys. Yo, brother, welcome, welcome. You had me worried there for a sec, man. Ah, man, it's apologies. Apologies, my brother. It's, man, you know, man, schedule, traffic, you know, load shading, robots. It's just a mess. <laughs> South Africa, Jay, South Africa, we understand, you know. We, we do <laughs> oh, it Shout out to those my men checking in. Shout out to PD for rocking the Sisonga t shirt. We are. Oh, yeah, yeah. Shout out. We yeah, I'm going to take some merch as well. Rising oh, voices. How, <laughs> how, how, do, how do we get those merch, man? Or is it just exclusive? Actually, go to the TikTok, uh, TikTok Africa. No, the TikTok Africa or TikTok South Africa page. They posted something about that. So go to that page. You will find out how you could get those. Ah, oh, okay, okay, dope, man. You know, I prepared a couple of questions, you know, for you guys. Uh, real simple stuff, really. Uh, you know, the purpose of this interview is to just, you know, for those that don't know you guys, just to get the background story and introduce you, you know, to, to people and also understand, you know, um, you know, what you guys do. So my first question is like, you know, you guys are obviously like a big deal on TikTok to a point where by TikTok actually reached out to you and like, yo, we want to work with you guys. So now my thing is like, man, you know, what made you, you know, and this, this is for both of you guys, what made you decide that day that, you know what, I want to join the TikTok community? Yo, my, my network Can is... Can you pretty jokes? Can you guys... Uh, hey, man, for me, I think... Yeah, we can this, see you, brother. Okay, cool. Uh, I was just converting my, my free time, man. I was bored too much. I found myself doing uh, unproductive stuff. And um, I always knew that I could... I could do something with my life, man, in that aspect, right? So, um, and then I just downloaded the app and I just dived in, bro. Like, I just went straight for the deep end and I was like, I'm going to learn. I'm just going to throw myself out there. And then that's how I kick-started my thing. And, and PD Jokes, this is for you, right? Because I feel like, obviously, every job is tough in the world. But my personal opinion is that comedy is the toughest job because, you know, you get the response right there, right there. It's not like when you're a artist and then people can lie and say i'm fun your track you know your track bangs like you know you can see when people fake laugh especially yeah. people that don't know you so yeah. for my question really is like you know um for you to take that deep dive i mean joining a platform is one thing but for you to be like you know what i'm gonna put myself out there to the whole world and you know people can either you know laugh at me or laugh with me uh you know what what inspired that journey um, I think it's the hungerness of what I envision myself to become and what I think I have to offer to the world, man. Because either way, I can't please 7 billion people. Not even Obama had 7 billion people rooting for him. So which means you're not going to have everybody on your side. So just like, do you the best way you can do. And the people who are receptive of who you are for the first time they encounter you. It's just that. That's why first impressions last. If you don't give yourself... If you don't give people the real you, then when's Ani? Like, what's the point of you existing, man? Honestly. Mm, mm, wow. Dope answer, man. Dope answer. Uh, as tall as you, brother, um, I don't know if you can hear me because uh, you freeze there for a second. Yeah, you know, I, I, I uh, the, the first question that I asked. Oh, you can hear clearly. Okay, cool. So, yes, can you please answer the first question on, like, you know, your journey of joining TikTok? Like, you know, what made you jump on the platform? Yo, actually, for me, it's kind of, I think it's the same as everybody else. You know, I was seeing uh, people post funny stuff on their, on their WhatsApp status and every other platform. And it had the TikTok uh, logo, watermark thingy. And I was like, what the heck is this? I mean, it seemed like uh, just people doing funny stuff, crazy stuff. And then I downloaded the app to only to find out, like, it's an entire community of people doing crazy stuff and, like, funny stuff. So... That is that is how I joined. And then in terms of creating, well, I uh, at first I didn't know what I'd create. But then, you know, as you continue to use TikTok, it, it begins to figure you out. And then it started showing me content from other producers. And then that's how I figured out, yo, I could actually 
make content, you know, create videos of myself making music, and that's how it kind of started. Mm -hmm. And Tozi, man, you know, for you, you know, you are one of the first guys, if not the first guy, to come up with the concept of like, actually, I can showcase my music, you know, to people because everybody on TikTok is you know uh, making funny videos or you know they they are recreating like you know that type of content that we know tiktok for but you are like you know what actually i'm gonna show people like my my my, my producing skills especially like the djing part where you are showing life for okay guys these are like you know the classical house tunes or whatever the case might be so my my question now is you know did you know at the point when you were creating this content that you know what this is something different or was it an accident tell me about that creative process yo can I please leave the live and then restart my router because uh, you're chopping up and I, I can't hear you properly. Can I just restart my router, leave and then come back? All right. Okay, cool, okay? brother. I hear you. Sharp. Uh, Yo, uh, the mandem's leaving me hanging. Bro, what do you want? You throw me under the bus. You throw you under the bus. It's fine. So, when, uh, you have, uh, when you have load shedding, uh, uh, I'll sort you out next time. Then what? Can I do that? <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Of course, brother. Do that, do that. And then, yeah, just uh, uh, I'll add you back on as soon as you come back. Okay, cool. All right, cool. So, so pretty jokes, bro. You know, um, now we, we're at a point where, you know, obviously you your profile has taken off. You're getting engagement. You're getting numbers. And now, you know, you're also part of like the rising voices project from tiktok so for those that may not know what is the rising voices project hey man it's uh <clears throat> basically say it's an incubation program where they you know they select 100 different uh, individuals talented um from from all kinds of and walks of life all over the country and put them in this program and, and just obviously equip them and give them tools and allow them the freedom to you know, to find themselves within the space. You know, it's 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 obviously mainly focused on 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 I would say black creators specifically. Um, mm -hmm. um, and it's it it it's been great, dog. Trust me. I mean, to be t to be one of the hundred was amazing, and uh, we you know we the tools they gave us, man. That's what I'm saying. Which people don't understand how valuable information is. It's not. It's never about the followers, but it's about information that you get and how to become a, a top creator from there. Like, it's up to you. Consciously, you decide which has in, in, in touch information or do I want something more tangible as a prize. But for me, information is key. And what I've learned from there has gotten me to this level because then I can apply those things um, into my digital content creator space, I guess, going forward. Um, and, you know, I think, I think it's an interesting project because, I mean, even now, you know, um, social media is still considered especially by you know the 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 generation like you know our parents and stuff like that they might consider it as like something that like you know you're just playing on your phone but here you are uh you know you you are on an incubation program which is something that's normally done for like serious careers right so um you know a parent that might be watching this um you know what would you say to them if, you know, if they are curious about it? Like, how would you sell it to them if their kid is, like, maybe wanting to also be a creative? Hey, man. Like, I feel like it always, always boils down to, to, um, to just simple basics. Um, why do you want to become what you want to become? And then that's just kind of boost your reasoning behind everything you do. Um, so, basically, you have to create the content. You can't say, I want to get to town, but you're sitting on your couch. Dana, that does me. Can Johnny it doesn't make mm. sense, though, gang. So you need to put mm. in the work. You need to post content. I also had 12 viewers on a live at some point. I also had two people watching my live at some point when nobody cared about TikTok. But because mm. I believed in what I needed to do, I did that. And then consistency pays. Even when, bra, you are feeling bad. Even when I flew, and I would make content flu-related because it's the day, mm. you know? Um, mm. so, so basically, to anybody who wants to be out there, like, know what your brand is. And go for it. Mm. Like, there's going to be a lot of noise in between. But lucky things that with TikTok, there's, there's support. You know, TikTok recognizes mm. talent. And then they put you into the programs, you know, um, and you get to learn, you know, set some trends. And, and just, yeah, basically just grow, man. But you have to be in TikTok um, in that aspect. You would say, I want to do this. Never mind the stigma around. Ah, oh, TikTok, yeah, wah, nah. Wait, I'm on TikTok. Mm. Eh, nah. mm. Ah, I'm a brambo. 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 I'
Mm-hmm. Okay, cool. Um, I see Tozi is back. I just want to accept, but this thing is just giving me a bit of a problem. Let me just try and accept him quickly so that, so that before I move on to another question, because uh, that's a very actually important question. Yo, yo, Tozi, yeah. bro. Um, <laughs> you know, we were just talking about like the rising voices in Chubita. Yo, just cross it, Valen. In Chubita. <laughs> in Chubita project. Uh, you know, what does that project mean to you as a creative? Oh, damn, man. It, it, you know, I was taught a lot in that program. You know, we were taught many, many things that we, we, we didn't think of. When, well, well, things that I didn't think of when I joined TikTok, you know, things like how you could monetize your content. Um, and we got advice from, like, people in the industry. We're not getting advice from, like, just somebody. You know, I find myself having a conversation with me and I was like, what? You know, Whoa. That, and... Uh, there were relationships that came from the from the project, you know. Yo, I'm lagging again. Is it is it at all possible to hold the interview with Prince and then with me? Because I think it's if it's the three of us, you know, to get me as better. Mm, no, I I don't know. Okay, so you you want what do you want to do? You want you want us to make the interview? What? I I didn't catch you there. We you could you could finish ah, with Prince. And then I'll come after. Because I think if it's the three of us, my, my connection is just bad. And I don't know what's happening. Oh, I, okay. I see. Okay, cool, man. Sharp. Uh, good idea. But I just want to say, no, you got me call his number, dog. That's crazy. <laughs> <laughs> hey, but I, I never Yo, know. I got me call his number, too. What? Why, am I not getting the, why am I not getting the hype? Like, I feel like I got me call his number, too. Well, yes. I didn't know you've got Mikali's number two. No, man, no, that's no, crazy. I'm talking cap, 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 cap. I don't. I yeah, don't. yeah, yeah. Nah, man, if if if, yeah, if, no. if 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 I had Mikali's number, I wouldn't be talking to dudes. I'd just be like, hey, hey. shoot, hey, shoot. <laughs> Mikali, where you at? You should be next on the episode, man. Yeah. So Guys, anyway, man, you know, um, sorry, I yeah. should get Mikali on this life. I should, I should. Yeah. Um, you know, now my thing is, now you're making music. And you do comedy for me, which is like crazy, 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 crazy. So, which came first for you? Uh, for, for people who are, who are like uh, my, a follower of my work, followers of my work, I would say, um, they know that music is my first passion. But then music didn't work out for such a long time that I had to find another gear for me to open the doors for myself. So I jumped into comedy because it is um, obviously the most watched um, genre I would say niche on the app and in the world, people just love jokes. So um, mm. I, I had to I had to put it aside just a little bit and show another side of me besides the music. This is basically saying to anyone who's watching that if it doesn't work out with this one thing, something else might lead you back to that thing. So don't think mm. sometimes you know letting it go means you're just giving up. So for me, that's how it, it became. I've always loved music, like I've always, but they they just never seem to to mess with my stuff until I had to prove myself. And um, and being on this TikTok song um, song man has been has been a dream come true because recording at Universal mm. um, Studios was was insane. You know, there's a lot of people mm. in the industry looking to have now. They haven't been even in their mm. studio. So for me, it's a big flex. Mm. And on top of that, you know, get to have Spogute and U Kanisa on the track, man. Ungan ba, ungan ba, young tall. Mm. So it's just basically just genius, bro. And uh, shout out to mm. TikTok, man. They're looking out for the for the real ones. And to anybody who just wants to be where we are, just be persistent, do your thing, but show us you. Be original. Mm. Yeah. Mm. And 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 what I'm learning from you right now is that you know, as a person, not just a creative, you you know, you can be talented with more than one thing, and it's okay to kind of like fully explore yourself you know don't just limit yourself to be like okay cool i'm just gonna do this so you know look at you now i mean you know you're combining the two and you actually just answered my my follow-up question which was going to be like you know how was it like you know working and collaborating with you know uh the ladies and and and, and tozi you know uh but 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 you 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 touched on that so no i didn't answer in that one no i need to tell you can you say crazy guys you guys oh, think yeah? Kanisa is just on videos. Kanisa is insane in real life. There's just an energy around her ready to create. We can just be talking about biscuits. Next thing you know, we are singing Omarian song. 
I've got mm. this ice box in church, like right there in the spot. Um, for me to be in a studio with someone who, on the external, they are crazy like that, but on on pen and paper, it's insane in studio. You understand? It was amazing. Mm. I'm, not, I'm not even gonna lie. I mean, work, working with people like Abu Abu Sketchy behind the scenes, you know, um, having the whole team they just being there, it's like in bit. You know what I mean? So it was an experience. I feel like, I mean, I don't take it lightly. I don't know other people might think, ah, lingo ma iwek, ma roksala is a trend. Do I know the bonang you go FYP? Yeah. Are people hating on the song? That's crazy. That's a hot song. I mean, one thumbs down, bro. It's still a thumbs down. What's your issue, bro? <laughs> I'm joking. I'm joking. Nah, <laughs> nah. nah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, okay. No, dope, man. Dope. Uh, sounds amazing. Sounds like, you know, you're really, really living your dream right now and you, you're doing stuff that you've always wanted to do, which is like, I can imagine, must be amazing. And yeah. also, I mean, to collaborate with, you know, we've been talking a lot about TikTok, but yo, Def Jam. Yeah, Def bro. Jam. As yeah. Artist, so. How did that feel like? It's a, it's a big flex. I, I think people don't understand how much I can flex with my blue tick and all these things. But I'm just feeling like for me, it's like now Uspana is an accountant getting a promotion to to lead the firm or whatever the case might be. For me, it's it's a huge achievement. So I'm not gonna rub it down people's faces, but nakon wang tati nga tang nayo, wang tati nga tibi na nutuzi as nayo. Iko na lang tona, iko. So um yeah, man, it's crazy, dog. They are a really really big platform. So um more than anything, I'm grateful, dog, for the opportunity. Yeah, I mean, look, um, I think there's a lot to expect from you. Um, I mean, this is already a big deal. I mean, to be commissioned by TikTok and, and Def Jam and to be rubbing shoulders with, you know, Abu Michali people in the space. And obviously, you know, you, you are proper in the industry now. So, you know, uh, my last question is like, you know, what, what's next for you, you know, as a, as, a, as, a, as a creative? Let me not put you in a box. What's next for you as a creative? Um, I think a lot of people don't know that I'm I'm a lot in, in, in film and production behind the scenes. That's what I do for a living. I might not show it, you know, but uh, that's mm. what I do. So uh, I, I, I write and I produce and I do all these things and I film. Um, I, I love editing so much. So um, regarding that, expect some stuff happening there. My acting career is picking up, you know, um, the film is still doing really well. Now the music parts, I can't say anything, but tomorrow something I might be dropping with a big, big, Big name surprise in the feature of the song. So whoever sleep on it tomorrow, don't say it and tell you. That's what is happening, dog. Slicker asked me the same thing. And I said, for me, now it's music mm. or nothing. You know, I want my song mm. one day in Fetu in Ngamulunyaga. Like, I grew mm. up in Gomez Ngamulunyaga. If I don't have a song in Ngamulunyaga, I haven't accomplished my goal, dog. So I have to do that. Um, and mm. for me, it's just music. You guys get to hear my music side over and above the PD talk side, which is always going to be there, you know? I do stand-up mm. comedy every once in a while. So, yeah, that's that. And maybe get a, a 20,000 followers on, uh, on Instagram somewhere there. I don't know. It's a goal, even then. <laughs> <laughs> wow. Look, man. Hey, bro, like, it sounds like you're very talented. You know, you, you, you do everything. You act, you, you produce, you're an actor. Uh, you know, you you're funny. Like it's crazy. I I think you know. I'm just looking forward to to your brand in the next couple of years to see you know the stuff that you're gonna achieve. And I think you know, um, you know, people that are gonna watch this interview, people that are watching this interview are gonna be inspired by your story. And I just wanna say to you, man, you know, keep creating and you know keep inspiring. You know, the kids and you know everybody out there. We appreciate you, PD jokes. Thank you, Baba. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Take Tozi, he mustn't take a take. But um, guys, please go show him some love. I see my people in the comment section. Please go give my brother some love. The journalist DJ in the building. My check one two one two. Pretty jokes. Kanjani, bro. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. So now, ladies and gents, um, uh, we're gonna continue with Tozi because uh, we kind of like figured that the network is bad because there are three people in the line, you know. So now we're gonna go and, and, and get Tozi on so that we can continue with with our chat and hopefully the, the internet won't take a take. I mean it looks hopefully, good now. Hopefully it won't take a take. I mean my ISP is being jealous now. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, no, but but it looks good now. It looks good now, man, you know? Um, yeah, yeah, you know, and, and you know the network uh 
cut us off when we were talking about a very uh, important um, project, which is like Rising Voices, right? The, the oh, incubator yeah. project. So um, I know you answered it, but it was just a bit bad. So yeah, tell me about that experience, bro. Yo, know, Rising Voices was crazy. As, as I said before, you know, getting to talk with people in the industry and, you know, being taught Jay, how to like brand yourself, how to position, position yourself uh, well in the industry. Plus, I meet friends, which is kind of a cherry on top, you know. PD mm. is now in my circle, you know. Mm. It's crazy. It's been awesome. Yeah. Okay, I know. That's dope. That's dope. And, you know, and also it sounds like you guys, it's like a bunch of people that are like, should have been friends are put together in like one room and now you are forced to be friends and now you are creating together so <laughs> i always i always think that's dope so tell me you know because obviously you know you you are actually a music guy like you know you you produce and stuff um yeah. so the a song get track man tell me about you know um how did that song come about and you know basically what inspired it well, uh, the song is basically about the spirit of togetherness, you know, which is something that we wanted to push, you know, as creators and as like uh, TikTok, the platform, you know, the spirit of mm -hmm. togetherness is just, I don't know, it's, it's, it's something that's important to, to us. And when we created the song, it just, it just made sense. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. And other yeah. creators on the platform are using the song to create content that invokes Am I using the word right? What does invoke mean? <laughs> invoke is like, you just put me on the spot. I know what invoke means, but I'm not confident enough to talk. Yeah, I'm, like, I'm, not, I'm, wrong. I'm not But anyway, I, I think I don't know what you're saying. Using it. But yeah, other creators are using the song as well on the, on, on the platform. And it doesn't have to be like dancing as we initiated it. Because when we created a video, it was dancing. But, you know, when somebody creates a video using the song, is not really dancing, you know. They could be using the song mm -hmm. for cooking, which um, adds on to the Sisonke thing. Like, you could be doing content that's different for us from us, but Sisonke mm -hmm. at the end of the day. And mm -hmm. PD is laughing at my English in, in, the, in the comment sections. <laughs> Guys, I, I always say English, man, it's not our first language, and we shouldn't be so bad that, you know, it distracts us. You know, I'm always like, English stuff me all the time, bro. And it's, it's okay. It's okay. Yeah. Uh, you know, PD Jokes just said now that, you know, he really, really uh, enjoyed being in studio with the ladies. Like, you know, the energy. You know, how was that experience like for you working with, you know, other creatives? How was the spirit like? Well, for me, it was, I think it was even crazier than it was for them. Because I'm kind of new to TikTok compared to them, you know, so I've always been watching Spoke's content and Petey Jokes' content and Kanye's content. Now I'm in the same room with them. Oh. You know what I mean? But, yeah, yeah, you know, yeah. we kind of clicked, you know, because we have Kanye with her full good type of shandies. We have Spoke with her dance, Petey, with music. Mm -hmm. He's also in music, and he mm -hmm. he can't dance. That's that's what he says in the comments. <laughs> but then... <laughs> You know, so when we came together, it was like a, a cocktail of the, the whole of us, you know. I thought that I would be scared or like kind of reserved. But we, we just kind of, you know, just blended mm. and created one song that happens to be fire. So shout out to them. And Def Jam, you know, a label that, you know, had, had people like, Jay-Z running it at some time, you know. Now yeah. they bring Def Jam Africa. To, yeah. to, to, to South Africa and now they're like, yo, we are commissioning you, Baba. We are trusting you and with our label. You know, how did how does that feel? Yeah, but I don't even think I, I could put that into words, you know. I don't because that's not what I had in mind when I joined TikTok. I was like, okay, I'm gonna jump, I'm gonna join TikTok, I'm gonna be funny, I'm gonna create content and boom, Def Jam. Bruh, like, what? It, it's crazy, man. I don't think I have the words to to explain it as I wanted to be heard, you know what I mean? Mm. But uh, it, it was really, yo, man, I, I, it was crazy. <laughs> yes. And, and, you know, right now, you know, DJing has been trending for the past couple of days. And as a DJ, someone that, you know, also plays music, what, what do you think the culture of DJing is headed in, in South Africa or, you know, in the world in general? 
I think, you know, things are a lot easier for people now. So it's easy, like, if you have a dream of being a DJ, it's a lot easier for you now than it, could, it would have been, like, 10, 20, 30 years ago. So everything is, like, here in front of you. And with platforms like TikTok, where you don't need followers to get your content out there, you're wasting time by not creating content. You know what I mean? So mm. I think that the people that really want it will get it. It's, like it's almost impossible to not get it. You know what I mean? Mm, mm, mm. Yeah. No, no, no. I get you, bro. I get you. PD Jokes is, is making fun of you, man. He's, he's saying you, you, you were looking for crates at Universal because you thought you could can't see. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, he is talking as if I got booyah, guys. You're not PD. <laughs> and, and, you know, Universal has got, like, state-of-the-art uh, yeah, studios, man. man. Yeah, I mean, we took and a whole lot of videos, you know, because, I mean, you're in Universal Studios, bro. It's like, yo, I'm a producer, but what does this do? I don't know what that does, you know what I mean? Mm -hmm. Yeah, it no. was crazy, man. I can just imagine. But, I mean, look, looking at your background, you, I can see, you know, that's a, that's a, why do producers love that seat, that car racing seat? I know Cubs at the Small also has it. You know, it's you comfortable. Look like, uh, you it's look like you've got a dope setup as well. Um, thank you. I mean, it's simple, but thank you. And then I bought this chair. It's really comfortable. It's like you could sit here for hours. Mm -hmm. you know, so. I always see, because obviously you guys sit on, 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 you know, for a long time. So I think I'm also yeah. get a chair like that. But anyway, anyway, I digress. Bro, like, you know, obviously, you know, your brand is out there. You're taking out music. So lastly, man, you know, what can people expect from you, you know, as a creative? Well, you know, I, uh, you know, back in the, like before the idea of content creation, musicians would just make music, you know, but now I'm a content creator and a musician. So people can expect more content from me, more uh, collaborations, more content, more music. It's, I, I cannot really say you can expect this and be it one thing, you know, it's, you can expect a lot from me. There's, there's a lot that's coming. You know, there's new music, there's brand collaborations, there's a lot. There's also a song with PD jokes that is coming. Mm -hmm. yeah. Oh, yeah, and he, and he just commented, he said, yeah, and a single with me. Okay, yes. look, I'm, I'm, I'm looking forward to that one, guys. And uh, keep creating, man. You know, like I just told PD jokes now, and I'm like, you know, um, you know, guys like you are really inspiring because you know, you just used, um, you know, a tool that a lot of people have, uh, which is like a smartphone. I know not everybody has access to it, but it's like, you know, uh, one of the things a lot of people have, and you just use your talent, you know, to get your name out there. And for me, I think that's mad inspiring. And, you know, um, I think we're going to expect a lot from you guys over the next coming years. And yeah, man, good luck, okay. gents. Um, you know, I love both of your spirits. Uh, I think you have a lot to offer. And Danko, is there anything that I missed that you just want to put out there? Hmm. Let's see. No, I, I don't. I don't think. <laughs> I don't think uh, there's anything we missed. I think. Yeah, unless you want to ask me something specific. No, 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 no. I'm done. I'm done, man. You know, um, I, I never want to make these interviews too long, um, because yeah, you know how it is. To everybody oh, that's tuned in to oh, watch. Oh, there's, there's one yeah. thing that I, I want to add, and I'm being forced by PD to mention it. Mm. I can't dance. He feels that people need to know that. I, I can't dance, guys. Mm. <laughs> but you know what? Most artists can't dance, especially producers and DJs. Exactly, bro. Unless you're like, uh, who's that guy? Uh, yo. How could I forget his name? But he can dance. But otherwise, most of us know. You know what? A lot of dope DJs, a lot of dope producers. It's it's the it's the weirdest thing about the about music is that people that create the music cannot actually dance. Those that yeah. there are those that can dance, PD. but even their dancing skills are questionable. PD, please find me a video of Black Coffee dancing, please. <laughs> I will pay you. <laughs> That's an easy one. That's an easy one. I'll tell you where to get a video of Black Coffee dancing. Black Coffee hosted a concert in Durban, and he was dancing. Okay, just search at YouTube, Black Coffee Dicks, uh, dancing with Zex Van Dien. But it was choreographed, so... But he was yeah. still dancing. 
Yeah, but yeah, man, thank you so much for having us here, man. It was really dope. Are we? Are we? I know. Thank you, James. And you have a good night, nah. How are you too, man? Sharp, sharp.